Have you ever wondered how engineers predict and manage floods and rivers? Well, let me introduce you to the Muskingum Flood Rooting Method, a powerful tool used in hydrology for flood control studies. Developed by McCarthy in 1938, the Muskingum model was initially designed for flood control in the Muskingum River Basin in Ohio, USA. Today, it remains one of the most widely used methods for flood roading in various catchment models. But how does it work? Let's dive into the basics. Imagine a river reach. This is a segment of the river between two points. Now, during a flood, water flows into this reach, causing changes in storage. We can break down this storage into prism storage and wedge storage. Prism storage represents the storage when inflow and outflow are balanced, while wedge storage accounts for the additional storage during rising stages and the deficit during falling stages. The inflow and outflow rates over time are crucial. The Muskingum equation models this relationship, considering both inflow and outflow, with a storage time constant and a weighting factor. By combining these equations, we can calculate the temporary channel storage at any given time. This allows us to predict how the flood wave will propagate through the river reach. Picture this, a flood wave traveling down the river. The Muskingum method helps us understand how it will change over time as it moves through different reaches. Engineers use this information to make decisions about flood control measures, such as when to release water from reservoirs or where to reinforce levees. But there's more to it than just equations. The Muskingum method is a tool that requires careful calibration and validation to ensure its accuracy in real-world scenarios. By continuously refining and improving this method, scientists and engineers can better protect communities from the devastating effects of flooding. So, the next time you hear about flood management, remember the Muskingum flood routing method, a powerful tool shaping the way we understand and mitigate the impacts of flooding.